What are global blocks? The best way to understand global blocks is to show you how to make them and how to use them. On this site for my business and financial consultants advisors, at the very bottom of my homepage, I have a contact section. So here for this block, I have get in touch, contact us, and then I have this information here at the bottom. And in fact, these are two blocks. But before we go there, what I want is for all this information to be displayed on all my pages throughout my site. And that if I make any changes to this, it will automatically make changes to those sections on the other pages as well. So currently, this contact us form is only on my home page. If we go to the top and we look at our services page, I will control command click, open the new page for services. I scroll down to the bottom and you will see there's nothing here. That's the same for my pricing page, control click, command click. I scroll down and you will see nothing here. What I will do is I will go to the very first page, my home page, where I have that contact form. And then I'm going to save these blocks. There are two blocks here as global blocks. Let me show you how to do that. Edit page with Brizzy. I click on that, scroll all the way to the bottom, click on the block settings, go all the way to the left, click on block, and you will see there is an option to make it global. Before we do that, first scroll down to add a new block and click here. And you will see here at the top, global blocks. If you click there, there's currently nothing here. There's a little dialog display here that says, nothing here yet, make a global block first. And it shows you how to do that. That's what we're going to do. In our case, there are two blocks that we want to save. So this one, it will be the first one. Click on it, go to the left, make it global. And now you see that little earth icon appear, global icon appear there next to the block settings. Let's do the same for this one. Click on it, go all the way to the left, make it global and say yes. Same thing here. Now if we say add a new block and we go up here to global blocks, you will see these two global blocks appear here. Let's click out of here. And now what we're going to do is just update this page to make sure that we've captured those changes. Let's go to our services page and we say edit page with Brizzy. Scroll down all the way to the bottom and say add a new block. We click here, go to global blocks and we first choose this one that says contact us and then click again on add a new block, global blocks and we put a little bit of information here at the bottom and again, you will observe that that little icon appears there, the one with the international global jet setting. Let's update this page. And let's do the same for our pricing page. Go to pricing, edit page with Brizzy. We go down to the bottom, add a new block, and we do that twice for the first block. And then add a new block, and we do that for the second one and we save the page. So what have we achieved here? You may think, so what? You've just copied those two blocks. You can do that in saved blocks, but what you have here is that all these blocks that we've brought in are linked to the original one and also to the ones you have copied. What I'll do now is I'm going to preview the pricing page that will take us to the front end, and I will close this one. And for the services, I will do the same. I will preview the services page as well so that we can see it on the front end. And this will all become clear to you in a nanosecond or a few nano millions more. Right, and I'll close this one over here. Now let's go back to our home page where we are still in the page builder. I want to make changes now to this block here. Instead of says contact us, I want to change this to message us. So I'm going to type in your message us, and then I'm going to say update. Now, if we go to our services page and you look still at the bottom, it will say contact us. But because this is a global block, it should take the changes that we've made and apply it to this one as well. Let's refresh this page. And luckily for us, it did that. So it has taken that change, applied it to the global block, and applied it here. Let's go to the pricing page. Same thing should happen here. We go here, let's say reload this page, 
and it will change to message us. Congratulations, you've made your first global block. And that's exactly what you expect global blocks to do. There are a few things that you have to take into consideration though with global blocks. And that is, if I make a change now on my pricing page, it will also apply to my other global blocks. They are all interlinked. So here we are on the pricing page. I'm going to say edit revision with Brizzy. Then we scroll down and now we are here again in this global block. Let's make a change to this one instead. And what we can do here is we're going to click here. Let's change the topography. It says above title. Let's make it a heading one. So it is big. And then we just say update to this page. And remember, we are currently on the pricing page. Let's hop back to services. Let's reload this page. And we are not disappointed. It is applied here as well. And that is the function of a global block. It's similar to template. However, what happens if you now decide that on this page, you don't want this to be a global block anymore. You want it to be unaffected by the changes you make to the original block. Let's go back to pricing. And now all you need to do is click here on the block settings, go all the way to the left, and deactivate make it global and boom the little global icon disappears you can do the same here deactivate it and now it is just a standard block just remember what you've just done cannot be undone you cannot relink them to the global block later now it's just a normal block like any other block if you also want to delete the blocks from your layouts library go here to add a new block global blocks and you can click here on the trash can the bin and they are gone but it will not remove the content from your site that will still remain there so whenever you need to use a block across your site to which you will make changes of which you want it to reflect across the site use the global blocks